Hey there guys, so this here is the second video for the Scrum tutorial series I'm running and in this tutorial we're going to go through how to create a nice basic shader which will comprise of a diffuse, a normal map, a emissive map and a specular map and if I manage to get this in within the time limit I'll go through and put in different values that allow us to control the strength of such things. Okay so for starters I've changed my cube my sphere, the default sphere, to a cube, which is nice and easy. Hit the little button, go to cube. Right, now in diffuse, all you need to do is come along, right click in the uh, window, or go under nodes and type in what you need. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go right click, go to properties, <laughs> sampler 2D. In, but when we did that, when we select this, you can see it requires a input. And I'm going to call this the diffuse map, uh, diffuse channel. I'm going to hit add. Now we want a whole bunch of these. We want one for diffuse. Control D for du control duplicate. This will be our normal one. This will be our emissive, and this will be our specular. Now going down to the second one. We can select this and go to unconfigured, and this lets us add a new input. This one here shall be called normal channel. Select the third one. Emission channel. Select the last one. Specular channel. Okay, next we need something to plug this into. This will be a input, nope, a function text2d, which is essentially just a texture. So you can look at this as this the sampler2d will read a texture file, such as a PNG, and then just click on the little box and direct, come across and click on the other one to connect, UV to UV, and then You'll see in Unity, many of them have a little color channel as well. So what we're going to do is right click, go up to properties, color. So I need an input, we'll call this diffuse color. Hit add. And now we're going to use a multiply function. No, operation, sorry. Let's plug the RGBA into argument two and the color into argument 1 and then plug, plug the result into the fuse. If we hit update preview oh, y, oh. you always have to name it otherwise it will complain to you. So I will call this a basic shader. Hit preview it thinks for a moment and it's all black. This is because if we come under our Inputs into the fuse channel, there's no texture and the default is black. Change that to white and update, it should become white. Mm. Oh, there you go, white. Now, I've already got some materials pre prepared, so I'm just going to go use a diffuse texture, a basic little crate, and as you can see, we can now s see our and if we go into the color channel, we can multiply the colors. However, we so choose. Now, it's going to drag select all of these ones at the top and move those up and come down to the normal channel. Here, I'm going to go right click, function, text 2D normal. If you go into the tutorials on the internet, you'll see they used to have to go function, text 2D function unpack normal. The text 2D normal essentially combines these two into one. In some circumstances however you'll still want to use the, the older method. If you want to be able to use the normal map for other things than just the normal. It's going to connect these together and then connect that straight into the normal slot. Hit preview. 
hit sync for a moment. Click on the normal channel and choose my crate normal. It did not really like that. It looks like it's kind of working. Actually, it looks like it's backwards in some places. We'll try the older method. Function, untack normal. Ah, uh, we'll try plugging this one straight into there, seeing if that works. A lot of this is just experimenting. Update preview. And half of it seems to be working, the other half is not. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so I'll plug into the top one. Update once more, see if this one works. It is working, it's just the light is weird. Either way. <coughs> and that is essentially normals. Next is the emission. And for the emissive, I'm just going to duplicate the text 2D from above into the view, connect that. I'm going to create another property, which will be a color. Point the node. I'm going to rename this to emission color. I'm going to duplicate the multiply or right click operation multiply. Just connect these up and plug this into emission. We hit preview. Load. You can see first off nothing happens. On the emission channel, I'm going to grab my emissive. You can see already, now I've got this glowy white thing. And if we change the emission color, we can make it whatever color we want. However, you may notice that some colors don't actually make it completely solid. And that's where you can use a, another operation, an operation called POW instead, and that should get us a nicer result. Got us everything but. Okay. We actually want the inverse of that, essentially. So I'm just going to turn it back into the multiply and we shall move on. And the specular channel is actually exactly the same as the diffuse channel. It's really easy. Except we don't need to bother adding the multiply for the color, as we should be defining that in our specular channel. In our specular channel. Easy. Now spec really helps bring out normal maps. Now you can see that normal map so much better where it's actually showing up. Okay guys, so this is the basics of how to create nodes, attach them and apply them. Set up some more interesting trees using multiplies to combine multiple things. And don't be afraid to experiment. So instead of say using multiply, one might want to use add try add instead, connect them, plug them in, and just hit update preview and you can see what it looks like. And as you can see the emissive color is actually affecting everything but, so I says, no the emissive, oh dear. Okay, so don't be afraid to experiment, and 
I will probably have to redo this one so the normal map actually works as intended. It is there, just not responding correctly. Okay, check, check, check. I believe I know why. I'll drag this down, select my crate. My normal map is not actually set to a normal map. So you actually have to go into your texture settings and change your texture to say normal map for anything that's a normal map. Otherwise, Unity won't treat it like a normal map, but will treat it as if it's a texture. And then obviously that will cause problems. So just by doing that already, you can see it's now changed drastically and it now looks like it's made of some kind of wood. It's not quite what we were after, but what do you expect from a endo box in five minutes? In the time, we'll try just cleaning this up. Go function, texture 2D normal, plug these in, and let's see if this fixed it. Exactly the same. Excellent. And this is how you can create a quick and basic S-Graph to do all your needs. Thanks guys, I hope I can see you in the next uh, video. <coughs> and we'll get straight into it and do some more advanced stuff. Thanks guys.